Gentlemen, please have a seat. This is going to be a one-sided conversation, so please listen carefully. I read in this morning's Washington Post, the paper of which I am still the senior editor, that President Nixon's aide, Donald Segretti, plays chicken with cigarette lighters to impress girls at the White House. We went with it. I approved it. But I have to tell you it's weak, if sensational, as a story. And yes, it sells papers. But what I want to know is, when Segretti smuggles pizzas into Democratic Party fundraisers, where do his guys hide the wiretaps that Deep Throat says go directly to the White House? See, that's what threatens America. People deserve to know. They deserve to know about this. Today, U.S. Attorney General John Mitchell is threatening to quash the whole Watergate story under the pretext of prior restraint. Gentlemen, that's the government's way of using a law to protect the public from the truth. We're on the clock. If you don't dig up connections directly to the White House, we put all our hopes, our chances to tell this story on a court case likely to be fought in the United States Supreme Court. The Fourth Estate, the press, and the public's right to know will go on trial. Think about that. Go. Oh, two more things. First, no one in the government wants you to tell this story. I know that. That's why I'm writing your ass to make sure that you do. Because if this turns out to be true, we'll have made history. And God is my witness. If I have to, I'll take this administration down. We'll save this failing paper and my reputation. Boys, I'd give up everything I have to do what you've done. Second, by now you know about my affair with Sally Quinn, and the shit will hit the fan. Boys, she's leaving the paper and taking a job with CBS. I want you to go on with your work. Do not let my personal affairs interfere with your excellent journalism. Do your work and write that story. Now get out of here.